In this video, we will look at the latest news regarding Planet Watch as of 2nd of September 2021. We have major news regarding a new Type 4 sensor, indoor monitoring achievement, sensor batches and more. Coming right up! Starting with this video, in each Planet Watch news we will first look at the status of the project in terms of sensor growth and planet price. So, since the last Planet Watch news on 18th of August, we saw a growth of 225 sensors onboarded that translates to a 7.1% growth. This is expected since we are waiting for the batches on Type 1 and 3 and during this period Edmotube was mostly out of stock. In terms of token price, we see an increase of 0.5% since yesterday and a nice 18.1% since 18th of August. Claudio Parinello, the CEO of Plantwatch, started the AMA in a very good mood. He assured us that things are going well for the project's plans, and some are related to working with the sensor manufacturers to ensure a good stream of sensor producing, available worldwide. Also, the discussions with the companies that will help PlanetWatch deploy quickly thousands of sensors are going according to the plan. The second news and the most important one in this week is the launch of the new Type 4, a wear element. This is a consumer grade indoor sensor that plugs in into the mains and uses Wi-Fi for data transmission. I'll put links in the description below for purchasing the sensor for Europe and the US. We also got a PlanetWatch discount coupon code. Again, all this information will be in the description below. As price goes, for Europe we are looking at 190 euros and for US about 142 dollars discount included. Now we know that onboarding of this sensor will take place probably by the end of the month. But my suggestion is to secure yours right now by buying it. We don't know how long the stock will last. If you are subscribed to this channel, you know that in the past few weeks I recommended waiting for this sensor and not going after the Atmotube Pro. In a few words, I was right, it's a better option. This sensor is cheaper, better looking, doesn't need a phone or constant maintenance to transmit the data, thus to get your rewards. This sensor will be easy to deploy on multiple locations unlike Atmotube Pro. Give this video a thumbs up if you find my advice meaningful and do subscribe if you didn't already so you can stay informed. I already bought this sensor the moment it was announced so videos on it will be coming soon. The first one will be available in just a few days where I will go into more details on this to reveal. The other important piece of news is related to Type 3. So one of the indoor corporate customers of PlanetWatch, a hotel, has just received the Reset Healthy Air certification for commercial indoor. It's the second hotel to have this certification in the world and first in Europe. And PlanetWatch was instrumental in getting this certification. They bought the sensors with the PlanetWatch analysis, they demonstrated that their building is ventilated and the air is as safe as it can be. Think about it. A healthy building with clean air means lower risk of infections if someone in the building is sick. For businesses, hotels, this can be a great selling point and a competitive advantage, especially in the current conditions. This demonstrates just a little of PlanetWatch's business value. Regarding Arduino, we have an important update. The October batch will not only be US but also Canada compliant. So starting with this batch, both US and Canadian plant watchers will start receiving their Arduinos. PlantWatch is helping the manufacturer in obtaining certifications for Asia as well. And the last piece of news is regarding Admatube. The producer announced that there will be a 2000 unit batch in September and October and an additional 5000 units by the end of the year. Also, PlantWatch's 100 units will be for US sold via Amazon before the end of the month. That's it for this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and stay tuned. 
Also, by request, I put my Algo wallet in the description below. So if you want to buy me a coffee, you can do it in Algo or Planet. Until next time, see ya!